planning for a trip to your card? Well, you've reached the right place. I have five things that you cannot miss in your card to share with you all. All of this together made my experience last time absolutely memorable, right? And usme one hidden viewpoint is there which I found out. It is amazing and it doesn't cost you anything. So you cannot miss that one. And let's get into that and let's spill the secrets one by one. First one is always the journey, so make sure you enjoy that. मतलब fast tag में पहले से ही पैसे डाले ना. Almost there to Salem, and uh, look at the road. It's it's so good. I think we uh, never got a rough patch at all. Road is amazing, and it's almost around I think one hour thirty minutes is left. And there's a very interesting thing. Always make sure whenever you're traveling to your car, so there are twenty hairpin bends. Okay, so there, the fourth hairpin bend is really pretty. So always, from the beginning, please plan and stop at the fourth hairpin bend. This one was so pretty on the road, but uh, are they called stupa? I was just wondering that time also. And also another hairpin bend I want to mention that is hairpin bend number eleven. So if you are going up, try to make sure that if you're in a car or in a bike. Here pin number 11 try to just take 2 minutes Finally we reach the destination and time for the next thing now This place called Piku Park you cannot miss this place let me tell you this is a new place uh, the entry fee is around 300 rupees and parking is a little bit hectic if there are a lot of crowd there but this must be in your itinerary has to be matlab pagoda point mein bahut zyada crowd tha utna acha nahi lagega but just next to pagoda point this place it's a must Look at this pretty little thing enjoying probably his or her biryani. <laughs> yeah, so interaction with them was really an experience for my camera as well. Next comes thing number 3. This one is kind of cliched because it's a very famous view point there, but still you wouldn't shouldn't miss it. Right now, thanks to COVID, like the Yarkad Lake or the Anna Park, these were closed. But ये एक जगह था which is there in the conventional sightseeing tour of Yarkad, but still it's worth a visit. Do some cliché things here. Number four is the secret viewpoint I was talking about. You cannot just miss this. Great Trail Skyrocker. Come here, chai ke liye puchna and ask for come. I want to just go to the Skyrock. This place is I felt undoubtedly the best viewpoint in Yarkad. If you're staying in Great Trails, 
GRT Great Trails Hotel. This is by default accessible to you. Otherwise, even who are not staying in this, they can just come to the Skyrocker restaurant and ask for coming to the Skywalk, and they should be able to come here. Hey there. So this is the way to, as I already mentioned, I think in the previous one, to Shiravoy Hills. And this is the first time I think I'm coming out from the sunroof, so you can see also it's pretty. Uh, you can come out probably with my size and stuff. Um, it's a pretty good place actually. I love the roads, and though it's sunny a little bit, but the air is kind of cold. And, and this is a Goa trip. <laughs> After that, off the track, unrequired information. Coming to the fifth and final things to do or places to visit. This is. The hotel that I stayed in. Just we are just going to go to the uh, viewpoints because other places like Yakart Lake or Anapa, these places are closed thanks to COVID. After that, I realized ki how pretty this place in itself was. That you don't need to go outside as well. Also, so this is a hundred-year-old property, and I'm going to make a separate video for this also, where I'll explain more about this place and what all this place has to offer you. With the pros and cons list, so watch out for that. Those were my top five unconventional places I cannot miss in your card. कुछ तुम्हारा भी है तो बताओ. Please share. Finally, on the way back towards Bangalore, but still I feel pretty relaxed, and I think um, it was it was really. Bloody relaxing trip. <laughs> <laughs>